getting the things we need to survive wasn't always easy. In the old days, we had to work hard and we had to work together. And sometimes it didn't matter how hard we tried. Farms became villages. And villages became towns. And towns became cities. We could stop thinking about making it through the winter. start thinking about other things. And other places. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. We ran cables underneath the ocean. Put satellites into outer space. And everybody got connected. But as everything was advancing, we were becoming dependent on a new resource. You see, today, for the whole thing to work, it needs electricity. We need electricity to pump the gas that moves our tractors through the field and our trucks down the road. We need electricity to run our factories, to power our supermarkets, and to do the simple things that make a house feel like home. We need electricity to control and pump the water we drink to synthesize our medicine, put gas into our cars, and to light up all of the handheld modern technology that we've come to depend on. Which means that if something were to shut down the electric power grid, we, the people of the modern world, would find ourselves suddenly without the most basic things we need to survive. Everybody knows about how we are affected by dangerous weather on Earth. But not many folks know about how we are affected by dangerous weather on the sun. A solar storm is a star quake. It's a powerful burst of energy that comes from the sun. In the mid-19th century, we had the Carrington 
incident, which was a huge space weather impact on Earth. Literally the only electric technology that existed at that time uh, was the telegraph system. There were uh, sparks flying from the um, telegraph uh, systems, fires broke out. The new thing is not the space weather, the new thing is that modern society is so extremely dependent on electricity. Big storms like the 1859 storm are going to have continent-wide and planet-wide laydowns and impacts. The power grid could be knocked out for days, weeks, possibly months, even years. Well, you can't go to the transformer shop and buy new ones. Uh, you have to build them, and that takes several months, a year perhaps. The probability of a, a powerful storm occurring, let's say within the next decade, um, is uh, quite high. We know it's going to happen, but we don't know exactly when. And the sun isn't the only threat to our electric grid. In the old days, a terrorist attack meant Butch Cassidy was holding up the Union Pacific again. But in the modern world, the size and scope of terrorist attacks have been increasing. Nuclear technology is proliferating, and unstable nations or terrorists who get access to it can create something called an electromagnetic pulse, or an EMP. 